Not daddy. What? No, I always thought that Raymond's sense of humor was wonderful. Here, Raymond, I brought you this cake. Half is for me and Amy. Robbie, I said I'd bring it over to you. I'll supervise the cutting, thank you. Hey, this is cool. This is cool. I'll bet half of Grandma's cake is still better than a whole one of Mommy's. Excuse me? Raymond, that's not nice to say out loud. No, 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 it's fine. My, we're just we're making funny bets, you know? Okay, so, so who wants to bet that Mommy's cake probably isn't as delightful as it should be? Kids, you want to finish your homework upstairs, please? Yeah, okay. Go upstairs. You wouldn't want a bedtime snack, because all we got is mommy food. <laughs> Ray, what is your problem? Yeah, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. She bets the kids that I'll do stupid stuff. <laughs> Are the bedding windows still open? <laughs> understand what are these bets no they're just jokes you know like we bet if whether ray would notice my new haircut which he didn't well maybe he was just being polite <laughs> yeah yeah maybe your haircut's junky all right now you listen to me i'll well, bet i won't uh, uh, what do you mean you don't know it, what's gotten into hold me it, hold on. it i made cake <laughs> And before another crossword is said, why don't we just all sit down and have some? It's my world famous chocolate layer cake. Oh. Frank. <laughs> Look, you can see the imprint of his face. That's your half. Understand why you're so upset. You're always making jokes about me. Yeah, yeah, yes, I am. To my friends, not impressionable children. Take another look at your friends. <laughs> your bets are turning the kids against me. What, Ray? We're just having some fun. No, you're poisoning their minds. <laughs> Those kids, they used to think that I was Superman. I, I'd come home every night and they'd run up to me, yay, daddy's home, daddy's home, but now they don't because. You're home all day painting me to them as some big, dumb doof. Don't ever quit painting, Deborah. OK, Ray, if the bets bother you, I can certainly stop. Good. Fine. But there is another solution. You want them to think you're Superman? I am. I am like Superman. I'm not talking about just walking around in your underwear. What <laughs> for the underwear. Let me ask you. Would Superman have called me tonight to say he's running late at work, even though I could hear Gianni's PlayStation in the background? Look up in the sky, it's bad husband. <laughs> Deborah, may I say something as an impartial observer? <laughs> Wouldn't your time be better spent talking things out with Raymond instead of turning your children into gamblers? Marie, I try to talk to Raymond all the time, but he doesn't listen. You don't know how bad it can get. There's a chocolate-covered old man sitting on my good couch. <laughs> and I don't know how bad it can get. Yeah. This is a good husband. Now, anytime you want to trade places, just say the word. Yeah. I mean, if I were 40 years younger and he wasn't my son. OK, I'm Ma, all right, all right. <laughs> And Raymond is also an excellent father, which Frank, I can assure you, was not. I spent most of my time shielding these boys from his bad moods. That's right. That's right. Every night, Mom would secretly tell us how bad a mood Dad was in on a scale of one to five. Yeah, yeah, I remember. One meant regular grouchy, and five meant run! Run for your lives! <laughs>